Hello everybody. So here I got the C7 Corvette. So I got it on jack stands because I'm going to be changing the engine coolant and I need to get some clearance so I can place my drain pan underneath. So this one should be pretty easy just because we got the drain plug right there and we got a lot of room to reach it because in a lot of cars that don't have it we might have to remove coolant hoses or something like that and it gets real messy and complicated but hopefully this one should be pretty easy so I've done all the other fluids I've done the clutch fluid the brake fluid the transmission and the differential so this was the last one that I needed to get done went ahead and removed the radiator cap just so it'd be easier to drain so I'm going to go ahead and open up the drain and let it start draining Alrighty, so it looks like it's finished draining, so tightening up the plug now. Alrighty, so now I'm going to fill it back up. So I did get the AC Delco formula, but I am using the 50-50 mix. Uh, I'm not using the 40% coolant, 60% water formula that's recommended by the owner's manual. So the reason is for one, I didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to get my own mix because they don't sell it like that. They only sell it as a 50-50. And it's fixing to be winter time. And it does say on the owner's manual that we can use a 50-50 mix if the temperatures are expected to fall below negative 18. Uh, where I live, it shouldn't get that cold, but I just went ahead and used the 50-50 out of convenience And it does protect up to negative 34 degrees as far as the the freeze point So honestly, I think uh, the reason GM specifies that formula is because this is a performance car And if it gets driven hard, it's ideal to have that 40-60 that and I don't really drive my car that hard. I've never even taken it to the track. So for my type of driving, I'll be just fine with the 50-50 mix. Um, I do believe I even read somewhere that uh, I think was the CO6s were having cooling issues that a 20% coolant and 80% water was even beneficial when driving it on the racetrack. But who wants to take the hassle of having to drain it and fill it back up? But come summertime next year, I could always just uh, drain a little bit of coolant and add some water to try to get into that 40-60 um, ratio. And I'll check it by using that freeze point as a guide because I decide if I check this coolant, it'll uh, test at negative uh, 34 so all righty got the coolant filled let it run to operating temperature so the thermostat would open up but uh once it cools down i'll check it and top it off so thanks for watching